let me just reintroduce myself because that's obviously needed. My name is Nakia Pleasant. I'm 24 years old, based in Oakland, California, born and raised, heard. I've been struggling, y'all. Mm. Excuse me. Since the last vlog, y'all, see, or the last video, period, three months ago, um, I got my job at my place, and um, I was so ecstatic. It's something I've been praying for. I was praying so hard for and just really wanting and stuff and I literally got that and everything else that like was I was doing was important to me or just like creating and stuff it kind of fell on the back burner and not kind of it did I don't ever feel like doing this extra work like before I even did this, like I be forget to film. Like before I was doing this, girl, I was that's why this ice cream has eaten already. Cause I was laying here watching Sex Education on Netflix, eating my little non-dairy, okay, ice cream. And I was speaking to um I a new friend I met, and he's a Capricorn as well. And I was like, and I was explaining to him how girl back in college I was, especially senior year. I was working at Charlotte Reels four times a week, but the four times was nine to five. I was going to school full time as well, five um, five classes. So I was doing a lot and I'm literally trying to figure out how, on top of that, I was having a social life, I had friends, I was doing stuff, going out how and then i had the situation with being in new york and stuff and hustling out there and i'm just like how yourself and don't hmm. need them and do it yourself how, like, Sway. You take a few steps like dude like, i just feel like i'm not doing nothing i'm not productive it's hard for me and he was like he was like maybe this is like your break he was like you finally have this job you've been wanting you you don't gotta like do heck of much to get what you already like. Like the things I'm getting now, I don't need to do heck of much to do it. I just need to go to work. And I'm always looking for the next move. Like what I'm gonna do next month? What I'm gonna do in two months? What am I gonna do in three months? But my goals aren't as they're getting larger. I have goals now where it's gonna take some time. I need to spend a year. I need to wait a year to do this. I need to wait some time to do that. Like like stuff like that type of goal so i'm just i'm finding that this really just might be my break and that's okay <clears throat> but yeah y'all like i'm really unproductive the only thing that's really still consistent in my, in my life is the gym and if you don't follow me on instagram go ahead and follow me girl and You'll see all I do is go to the gym and then go eat and then go to the gym again. I like to relax. This is not a cycle I want to stay in, you know. It's been three months. Affirmations right now is that I am a full-time YouTuber and we need to work like it. Um, so this is my start. My goal right now, I'm gonna tell you guys because y'all can help me. Um, my goal with YouTube is to reach a uh, thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I think we could do it. I think we could do more, but we was gonna put at a thousand to be safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking to do that. That's one of my goals to reach another level with YouTube. So yeah, it would be super helpful. Um, if you guys could just keep doing what y'all doing. I don't know what y'all doing, but just keep doing that. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> so, last week, what I worked on was getting my schedule right. Like, right now, I'm, I'm getting sleepy because it's about to be time to go to sleep. Um, and now I wake up, like, at 4 or something, 5 in the morning, so I can go to the gym in the morning. So, now that's, like, my little routine. Now, I'm trying to work on a routine for after work and even sometimes maybe doing work not doing work but like you know at lunch like what can i like is there anything i can knock out at lunch or something so 
<sighs> stuff like that like i'm trying to get into a routine because that's the only way stuff is gonna get done like if i don't have no routine it ain't getting done but outside how can i put those same restrictions on the things that i need to do for myself and things i want to do for myself like youtube and stuff like what girl get it together and i was also, i was uh, mentioning to um this is something i've always struggled with um just as far as like doing stuff for myself i want to get back into doing test shoots and stuff like that's one of my goals next year like i just want to start creating again like i shut down my website i was like paying like 40 dollars plus paying for made for us website which is another 20 some dollars so that makes 60 something dollars a month i'm paying for all these websites so i cut mine off because i'm like i'm not looking for nothing nobody's checking for me really so like if they want to see my work they'll most likely find me through instagram anyway so i was like it's whatever like i'll restart this when it's time but for now i'm i'm really taking a break on that which is sad and that's probably why i feel so lost sometimes because i have not created like that i haven't like creating with like, graphic design and stuff is cool but when i'm like physically creating like doing styling like that's different type of adrenaline and like endorphins is that the word we all have uh, having a hard time and i think we're all finally just tired of being lazy in quarantine to be honest and like we've been in the house in uh for a year some change now and you know we've been in restrictions and stuff and having the lazy route and you know but now like i like i feel like we're all in like especially me i'm just feeling like i want to get back to like a little bit of more of a hustle and bustle like it don't help that i'm in california and like it's slow but I'm gonna make it do what it do, babe. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna make it do what it do, babe. That's all for now. I'll come back later. just like some random questions just so we can catch up chat you know ask me anything whatever y'all want to talk about we can talk about period oh my god that's why i'm so much more inspired to record because y'all i got an iphone 13 pro all right so somebody asked what drives me the most <laughs> hey look <laughs> I guess honestly just wanting to really like see my dreams come true like anything I want to do it's like oh I want to do that so I got to do this to do that like you know I got to take the necessary steps to like do what I need to do so I know that sounds like mad blunt and like cliche or whatever but that just is what it is just that's just how I look at like that's how I look at working out like I want this body, but girl, there's no other way. <laughs> like, so I have to do it. Period. And that's what drives me. It's just one to really. I want to see my dreams come true that bad, <laughs> like that bad. And I want, you know, I want to have a family and stuff. Like, I do. Oh man, I imagine myself se like not settling down, but like settling down in Texas or something. Ooh. I know <laughs> like just somewhere in the south with a big house a slow life but also I'm running these big businesses like these studios in New York and LA or like SF like that's like 
my dream. Like when I see my life play out, that's how it's playing out. But if God has another plan, he got another plan, sis. But God, you know, we need to communicate about something. <laughs> Just playing. You know, somebody asked me what, like, where do I draw inspo from for like fashion and photography and stuff? And honestly, it comes from, um, I still go on Tumblr, um, truly. I really do still go on Tumblr. I love Tumblr. I think it still has some of the best original content. I still really love Natal Media, like going on their website. It's called, it's spelled N-A-T-A-A-L, something like that. And I literally love everything they put on there. The people that submit on there, it's a lot of African-based artists, like in Africa. So that's dope too, cause like, you see a whole different perspective and I think they are winning as far as like, they're just so creative. I gotta go get ready for work though, y'all. And I'll answer some more questions later. Later. I'll answer some more questions later. First of all, before I get back into the questions, I have a hard time filming in the house because so many YouTubers these days that I watch and stuff, like they all live in these luxury like places, like luxury housing or just like, you know, like my shit, like I live in a regular, regular house in East Oakland, deep East Oakland. Like this doesn't even look like, it doesn't look good. It's just normal though, like I'm normal. So, but I'm trying to get that in my head. So, oh, if the question is, if money was no object, what would you buy? Girl, a house. No, wait, two houses and a du no, two duplexes. <laughs> two duplexes and a house, okay? I would specifically buy a duplex somewhere in West Oakland or just anywhere within this main hub of area, like Oakland, Berkeley, I would buy, especially Berkeley. Like that's that's mad money. Like I would I would spend the money to buy two duplexes. I would buy a, a house, and I would just renovate them and rent them out. And that's money for me to do whatever I want. Like <laughs> like not whatever, but you know that's easy money, bro. Like I literally, if I once I get the renovations and stuff done, it's looking good. I rent it out. Boom rent 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 pay your rent pay your rent and bow i'm getting paid like i want to get into real estate so bad and do that because that's like oh sorry car i'll let you get over my bad come on come on um the next question is do i like pumpkin and pumpkin or pumpkin 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 flavored things yes no oh girl hold on i'm lying no I do not. <laughs> I was gonna say yes because I want to try this uh, drink from Starbucks. It's just an iced chai. Um, Kyra, I don't know if y'all watch Kaylin and Kyra on YouTube, but Kyra posted on her story like it was like a a, um, a iced chai with pumpkin foam on top or something. It was like pumpkin foam or something, girl. I want to try that so bad so and like the way they're gassing it up I'm like I might just try pumpkin but honestly pumpkin flavored things do not attract me I, I'm gonna say it cuz I'm black I grew up black AF girl pumpkin stuff do not we I ain't never had pumpkin pie in my life like I, I'm gonna try it these days. Like I'm gonna try to branch out, but pumpkin do not sound appetizing. Pumpkin do not sound like something I could eat, you know? But I guess it is, cause you could say it's like squash. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but girl, it just don't make sense in my head, but we digress. What body part do I like to work out the most? Right? So obviously I feel like a lot of people go, them legs and them glutes, use, they used to be my favorite. They still are really, but because I have new goals, like I feel like with my legs and my butt, like I got to where I need to be really. Like, of course I do wanna like uh, always make it more perky. Bro, we're gonna have to go. 
go. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, bro, you should be zooming out of the intersection. The light turned red. It's Oakland. They're about to hit us, bro. Obviously, I want my my glutes to be a little bit more perky, but like, I feel like because I'm not ever not doing leg day, like during my workout week split, but I used to do two leg days. Now I'm only doing one because, girl, I love back day. Oh my God. Like, I love back day. Back day is my ish. Today, though, I did, oh, you guys seen, but um, <laughs> yeah, back day is going to be tomorrow and I'm literally so excited because I love it. I want to tone my back. Toning your back is also a good way for you to, um, you know, get that figure that you might want, that hourglass figure. And also just having that nice bag. Like I, for the first time ever, I actually have that little, that line in my back. Um, I still got my rolls on the side, but I actually have the line in my back. My back, like doing back workouts is so good. Like I look up a whole bunch of them on Pinterest, um, back workouts and stuff. So love that. So good. All right. So I'm going to ask one more question before I go into BART. Let me turn off the car. Um, I, oh, the question is what's my biggest fear? So my biggest fear is, okay, two things my biggest fear is not is leaving this earth and not leaving one not leaving nothing behind for like my future generation like in my family like my kids or grandkids and stuff like not leaving nothing for my family that's a fear of mine like not doing something to leave something behind and it'll be even better if i could leave something behind for not just like my seeds and my family but for a lot of other people like a lot of youth and kids and just something that could last without me being here i just don't want to be on my deathbed and not have nothing to show like at the end of the day like I'm going to be hecka sad. Like, I'm going to just feel like I didn't fulfill my purpose. My other fear is more like, it's legit a fear fear. I'm not saying that's not a fear, but this is like legit scary. Um, a painful death. Girl, I do not want to be like slowly like bleeding. If you're going to do it, do it straight to the <laughs> it's Like, seriously, I just want to. I like, if, if it comes down to it in that moment, I just, just let me sleep away like just let me or if, if it's a situation where i'm going down i'm gonna tell the person hey if you're really about to do this bro just go ahead and mm -mm. Mm -mm. i can't even imagine it like look thinking about action movies and stuff <laughs> i'm about to go to work now so Go on a Bart, get my mask, girl. Bart's been so crazy. <sighs> Let me show y'all how well this um this uh uh camera works. So this is gonna be my breakfast this morning when I sit down at my desk. But this is the Oik Oikios. Girl, look at this. Stop playing. Look at this camera. This is the front camera too, y'all. I'm about to leave. Oh, I brought my laptop today.
in the kitchen. This is not a different, I mean, this is the same day. It's not yesterday though. <laughs> and I got my bonnet on already. I just got home from work. Y'all seen I went to work. Now I'm about to make me some chicken and broccoli and rice. <sighs> Don't it sound sad? But I know it sounds good right now though. Honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. It sound good. So I had these chicken breasts and I'm just about to slice them because I literally just slice them like this because I do not feel like baking them and waiting for them to bake all the way through on the inside. I can't be bothered. So I'm just gonna cook them like this because it's gonna be faster. And it's still the same thing, girl. It don't even matter. It tastes better too. I ain't gonna hold you. To finish answering the questions, but it basically she was asking, um, she asked if money wasn't, basically if money wasn't an object, where would I live? Honestly, in London. I know y'all probably thought I was gonna say New York, but I would live in London. I would live outside of America. Easy, easy, like, and my my main reason living in London, I feel like I can still get this almost like American lifestyle, but get it in a more, a new way, in a more healthier way, and a way where I can also go explore so many things. Like, I could take a train ride and be in Italy, girl. Like, I could, maybe, I don't know, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know for real, girl, but... Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I could literally go and be somewhere else and, like, take so many holidays, they call it out there, vacations, and actually see a whole new part of the world. Like, ugh, if it wasn't an object and I was fine and I would totally just move there for... I, but also, like, so many things happen here in America where you kind of... I find that a lot of people who leave America often always come back. So, and I feel like that will be the case for me. Like, there will be some reason. Most likely family will be the reason I come back. But, yeah. The next question is... Alright, y'all. I'm in the kitchen. This is not a different... I mean... This is the same day. It's not yesterday, though. <laughs> and I got my bonnet on already. I just got home from work. Y'all seen I went to work. Now I'm about to make me some chicken and broccoli and rice. <sighs> Don't it sound sad? But I know it sounds good right now, though. Honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. It sounds good. So I had these chicken breasts, and I'm just about to slice them because... I literally just slice them like this because I do not feel like baking them and waiting for them to bake all the way through on the inside. I can't be bothered. So I'm just been like a lesson learned. Um, and sometimes not even just in a bad way. They're just literally a lesson learned. Um, I'll link the podcast down below that I listened to that enlightened me about this information. Um, she, the girl, the lady, the woman, she is a, um, therapist or like a counselor, like a relationship counselor, but she was, uh, interviewing and she was talking about like situationships and stuff and like dating in our generation. What one thing I was doing is like looking down upon people or like, uh, guys when they would be like oh yeah I'm just trying to look for a vibe I'm trying to you know I'm chilling right now I'm da -da -da, like what or like some of them just really like want to be casual or looking for something casual and I'll be judging people like anybody that didn't want a relationship I was judging them which is not right like some people literally just don't want a relationship and it's fine but I will tell you it does hurt when like you actually like bond with somebody and like they just don't want a relationship with you. That hurts. I don't care what anybody says. It hurts. No matter if you knew it coming or not, if you like feel it, it hurts. The biggest lesson I learned out of all of this on top of that stuff is um, just don't be afraid to say you're in a relationship because 
when you say you're in a relationship and you tell them like or when that conversation comes up which it usually does for me personally my experience like if i'm on a dating app it personally it usually comes up in the app like guys will be straight to it they'll be like what are you looking for because most likely not m most of the time they're looking for someone to have sex with and they want to see if you're on the same page because they don't want to waste their time but we could be like that too girls like we want a relationship we need to say that and we don't want to waste their time and we don't want to waste our time for sure and that's how you end up in situationships and stuff where you're just not happy you're mad you're dealing with this guy who ain't ish and you're just like no i'm not having it but girl that's because we you know we allow ourselves to stay in that stuff like All right, y'all, I'm in the kitchen. This is not a different, I mean, this is the same day. It's not yesterday, though. <laughs> and I got my bonnet on already. I just got home from work. Y'all seen I went to work. Now I'm about to make me some chicken and broccoli and rice. <sighs> Don't it sound sad? But I know it sounds good right now, though. Honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. It sound good. So I had these chicken breast and i'm just about to slice them because i literally just slice them like this because i do not feel like baking them and waiting for them to bake all the way through on the inside i can't be bothered so i'm just gonna cook them like this cause it's gonna be faster and it's still the same thing girl don't even matter it tastes better too i ain't gonna hold you more flavor but but um to finish answering the questions um someone said if i had like if money basically if money wasn't like a y'all because i have to record i have because i record on my phone i have to remember the questions so if i'm not saying it word for word that's why but it'll pop on the screen but it basically she was asking um she asked if money wasn't basically if money wasn't an object my feelings i don't want to be like in a situation ship or f buddies or whatever you want to call it like i'm not trying to do it i'd rather be left alone and i'm 24 i might be 25 and like i've only been in one relationship and it wasn't a good one it was a horrible one i really don't think anything could get worse than that one so <laughs> i'm very positive about my next relationship that i will get into and i'm also learning not to put that trauma and that like i was talking to somebody yesterday and they were saying like it's like hard not to put that ptsd on the next person but you really can't do that that's not their fault they're not that person and it's not their 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 problem to solve or beat around a bush so you don't get triggered you know what i'm saying like if something triggers you or a lot of things be triggering me and then i get mad and i'll be like well and i'll try to pull the card out well you know so and so used to do that and da, 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 and it triggered me like but genuinely if they're just being a good person and they've been a good person overall and that one little thing triggered you girl it's not a red flag it's literally just you're triggered and you have to work on that and that's a I'm talking to myself, but for real, that's really what it is. So that's what I'm learning so far. And if y'all want to talk more about it, girl, we could we could chat. We could chat for days. So comment down below, like how's dating? If you're in your twenties, or even if you're not even in your twenties, but you know how's dating going? Cause girl, I'm trying to be out of the streets, and I mean I'm gonna stay out, okay? Um, the next question is, what inspires me to? be productive with work and wellness and I guess fitness and stuff I guess I don't know. but uh I legit just be feeling bad <laughs> I know that sounds so sad but I like legit just feel bad first of all like in the beginning of this video like I said like I've been having a hard time being productive and like doing stuff but some days i do get some stuff done and um 
just today I realized because I stayed at work later and I brought my laptop and I like usually the time I leave I end up staying and working on my own personal stuff I'm not gonna clock the hours for it but I'm just saying that's like because I'm still in that work office environment and have my laptop there and my desk and stuff it helped me get through a lot of stuff like I did a lot and just like I don't only stay like an hour hour and a half later I've been having a hard time with productivity honestly but I know the main thing that gets me to do a little bit hold on these past few months I've been feeling bad like I've been having stuff to do and I think about everything I want to do and I see people like doing it on Instagram or like just doing stuff and I'm like oh or like I be having ideas like to take pictures and stuff and like not even like like photo shoots like just pictures of myself for Instagram and stuff like I be having outfit ideas and girl don't get to I don't get to nothing and that frustrates me like that's literally just me I don't know how else to, like I don't think that's motivating for everybody but it legit frustrates me when I can't get stuff done and I know the only reason it's not getting done is because of me like I'm not being productive I'm coming home eating and or going to hang out with people after work or just you know knocking on my priorities even in the weekends these days you know I go out like last weekend I went and I seen like five people like I'm exhausted from it <laughs> like but I, I could have just stayed home like staying home is not bad because but at the same time staying home I have to be disciplined with myself and I think that's what it is if I want to do the things that I really enjoy that's always been my passion all my dreams and like build those dreams out like I have a big big dream that I if I don't start now it's like it's gonna take even longer that's it and that's something that motivates me it's like if i don't start now it's just gonna take a long time i don't want it to take a long time because i'm already impatient so <laughs> it's just things like that you you it's like knowing yourself in a way where it's like just talking to yourself like girl look it ain't gonna get done no other way so <laughs> it's all you and it's okay to have those down days for sure like not every day i'm gonna be able to stay late at work and work on stuff not every day i'm gonna be motivated to wake up and go to the gym at 5 a.m like that just it ain't gonna happen every day but if i could like do three times a week four times a week like i was the book i'm reading right now i'll put it up here but the book i'm reading right now like they were just talking about how like even if it's just 30 minutes a day even if it's just like you only have an hour in the morning like before you go to work or because that's your most productive peak time or if you're one of those night owl people and you only have like maybe 30 minutes before you go to sleep or like an hour before you go to sleep or even if you spare an hour before you even watch tv something like that like, um having that schedule will just allow you to get stuff done like when you're in school think about it when you're in school you have a schedule you gotta go by the schedule you gotta do your homework you gotta make it to class because attendance and blah, blah blah of course you don't have to but those are like the restrictions that are in place so you can have a good you can do a good job you can do good work you can pass your test pass school and move on to the next journey and that's how and i feel like continuing to have that structure throughout all of life is going to be really helpful and I feel like most entrepreneurs do that, but they just make it it's so toxic, like 5 a.m. routine. Girl, no, you literally just do this in a routine. Like, you literally just have a routine, and a routine is just helpful. It doesn't have to be at 5 a.m. It could start at 11, sis. Don't even matter. At least you're doing it, period, okay? Yeah, so the last two questions I'm going to answer, there's more, but I'm tired, and I feel like this is already every question i spent six minutes answering so <laughs> the last two the first one is what do i um or maybe i'll do three have i ever done branding and marketing experience and would i consider doing it for money i do do branding um i don't do marketing or nothing like that because i'm just i don't have the skills behind that but i can tell you a little bit about instagram and like how to really get in the algorithm and blah 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 and the followers and hashtags and stuff 
but that's about it and all of my clients that work with me on branding know that i give as much knowledge as i can i even do um uh if you want to pay for um what's it called a consultation call i do that for branding um and yeah i do branding. i love branding i love like putting together a full brand making it come to life like i love that what are my goals before the year ends or something like that um and right now i just have my goal is to make a routine my goal is to one make a routine two i have fitness goals and my fitness goals are just my midsection and arms midsection including back and arms that's it just my upper body <laughs> like i'm just trying to get that work together i want to be snatched i want to pay off one of my loans i do not want to go into the new year with that loan period yeah and then i have other goals but i don't believe in putting i don't believe in telling everybody my like goal goals i don't know how to explain it but those goals that are really like near and dear to your heart type of thing obviously those goals are near and dear to my heart but those are like those are like i need i know what i need to do and i'm gonna do it and i, I just that's a goal like, i'm working towards that but some other goals are just like more like i'm put i need i'm putting it out there and if i put it out there I want to manifest it in my own space. I want to make sure God hear me clearly. I can't tell the wrong people because people be messing up your stuff. You can't tell anybody nothing. So I don't put it out there. Sorry, y'all. It's not. I don't. It's not that I don't like y'all or nothing. It's literally just because I'm very cautious about who I say certain goals to and stuff. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this is like a nice like little catch up video. I tried to make it a little interesting by kind of vlogging at the same time. If you didn't like it, you can tell me down in the comments below. If you did, let me know, girl. Say hey in the comments, share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, yeah, girl. I don't know how you get this far and did not subscribe. Like that don't make no damn sense. But um, <laughs> I will see y'all in the next video. And it's going to be super, super exciting. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>